Peter's shooting uh, shooting some video here, and we've got a, a an, an mid eighteen uh, hundreds banjo with an electronic tuner attached. So it's kind of you know. Like, <laughs> This is an instrument built by um, George Wonderlich, who from mid round uh, mid He's Pennsylvania, up in Frederick uh, Maryland area. Yeah, okay, I think, all right, the good. Yeah, Civil War Medicine uh, Museum, and is a he's a great banjo player. Yes, and the style that would have been played. Uh, uh, in the mid 19th century, was called stroke style. It relates in large measure to African ways of playing, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the the first uh, reports of banjo like instruments in the New World go back all the way to the 1680s in the Caribbean. So think about that for a minute. There's already a tradition of almost 200 years of African banjo playing in the New World by the time the Civil War occurs. Um, the banjo crossed over to white culture sometime in the early 1800s, but the playing style largely African-derived, but the song material, of course, could come from anywhere. British Isles fiddle tunes, Stephen Foster songs, uh, some tunes specifically written for the minstrel stage. But let me play a quick medley of Irish tunes on the banjo that would have been played uh, pretty much like this in the mid-18, uh, about 1854. We know a little bit about what this music sounds like because there were instructional manuals written that, and with music and specific playing instructions. We don't know quite what the, the performance context would have been like. Imagine these minstrel performers playing in a hall without amplification. Uh, and, and so forth and so on, with an audience that expressed their enthusiasm by throwing things at the performers. You know, um, you can't do that <laughs> on the radio. Usually money. Can't huh? do that on the radio. But uh, 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 there's a tune called "Devil's Dream" that most bluegrass pickers know, and it was it sounds like this in the 1840s.
wonderful. You're oh, getting some you. great uh, drone notes out of that ah. fourth string there. That's beautiful. <laughs> thank you. There's no frets, you know, on this particular instrument, as you can tell, which allows you to play infinitely out of tune. Well, let me, uh, <laughs> let's describe this a little bit because the peg head looks more like a fiddle peg head. It's got a scroll on the top and the neck is carved. Would that be sort of as uh, fret indicators because the way he's got that carved in there you're sharp you know you're the only radio dj that has ever even asked me about that so but this is wamu's bluegrass country that's right i would have i should have expected this to happen 